Hey everyone, I wanted to show uh, how uh, well Autopilot is doing now on really uh, tough local roads. Going through a little town here, I did this the other day, got my hands close, and um, watch how it navigates through uh, this town on a local road almost perfectly. The um, what the proving is that it is going to be able, they're getting closer and closer to self-driving, uh, ability for self-driving, because uh, this is a pretty tough situation to understand the road and navigate. I've got my hands close, so it's not really where you're supposed to use autopilot, but what it's uh, clearly demonstrating is that uh, AP 2.5 uh, really can understand the road pretty well and uh, navigate through uh, tough situations and uh, clearly it needs uh, to do that for self-driving so um, I everybody knows self-driving is still a little ways away but what's uh, pretty fascinating here is that um, uh, Tesla is I think going to slowly turn into a self-driving car. Uh, if they can just continue to improve their autopilot um, and allow, start allowing it to be practically used on local roads, um, it's uh, clearly going to work. Now uh, that light just turned green. If that if that was red when that car pulled away, we would have just followed it because autopilot just follows a car in front of it. Uh, for uh, whether it should stop or not. Now here I'm going to have to manually stop. So they don't yet understand uh, red lights and stop signs. I've been talking a lot about uh, that would be a great uh, next step for them to do, uh, allowing autopilot to at least uh, acknowledge stop signs and, and red lights. Not do full self-driving, but just slowly enhance autopilot. So I could sort of see like an autopilot 3, an autopilot 4, uh, nothing to do with uh, automation level, but uh, basically just improving autopilot so it can be used more and more in various situations. Still with the user having to be fully responsible, but uh, just being able to um, uh, exercise more autonomous driving capabilities. So here's a, going over some tr old train tracks, really poor lineage, but uh, again, it just really is able to understand the road uh, and where uh, it should drive. Curve coming up, car pulling out in front of me, recognize that it just slowed down there a little bit. So um, this is really uh, almost self-driving uh, 0 0.1 um, as a uh, slowly get into self-driving cars. Uh, I don't believe any other car on the market, uh, especially like the Cadillac uh, Super Cruise, has anything like this. Uh, that's limited to just highways. Uh, I believe Tesla is still the only car that can do limited uh, steering or autopilot on uh, local roads. And compared to 1.0 autopilot to 2, or 2.5 now, uh, it is uh, tremendously better. Here it's gonna start up by itself because the car in front of us pulled away, has no problem getting through intersections, finds the line on the other side, and just steers perfectly smooth. Here's a nice turn coming up. It's steering all by itself, and uh, it's just doing great. Okay, that's a quick little demo. Take care, everybody. Well, you know what? Here, here's another another turn I'll show you. We can uh, speed it up now with the wheel. Takes this turn real nice. And uh, finds the road. Thanks, everyone. You clearly still have to be very careful with autopilot. It can disengage at any time. Here's a good example. Hey everyone, I wanted to show... Oh, that wasn't very good.
good. 